The residents of Kiev were awakened this morning by more explosions. The Russians are continuing missile attacks on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure, which have caused power and water outages. Metro train traffic has been halted. The metro train simply stopped running. Then I read the news that there had been two explosions at infrastructure sites in Kharkiv. How do I feel about this? Obviously, I'm outraged and angry. I don't want to say certain words, but yes, I feel a hatred towards all who are responsible for this war. I don't know anymore how to feel about this. We're just fed up with the Russians. Russians have been continuously shelling the dam of a hydroelectric power plant in Novokhovka. It is a village located in the partially Russian-occupied Kherson region. According to experts, blowing up the dam could cause flooding of areas near it. Today there were people alive there, and now they are gone. I saw three dead bodies over there when it all happened. I do not have a roof over our house. The ceilings have started crumbling away. No windows or doors left. Now we all live in one little room. The kitchen is shared. Everything is shared. This is the way we live because we have nowhere to go. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has called for a strong international response to Russia's suspension of participation in the so-called Grain Initiative. Hundreds of ships blocked in ports are waiting to sail. Others cannot enter Ukrainian ports. The soldiers of the border guard stopped the fierce offensive actions of the enemy in the Donetsk region. Furthermore, they managed to replenish our exchange fund for prisoners of war. Of course, the partners are trying to convince the terrorist state to slow down the blackmail a little. So far, the facts indicate that the Russian leadership is more interested in escalating the food crisis than in implementing the signed documents. And by the way, this is the answer to all those who talk about negotiations with Russia. The Grain Corridor is a very specific example. 218 ships are waiting for the opportunity to carry food under export contracts or enter Ukrainian ports and has now blocked it completely. Ethiopia is on the brink of starvation. We are ready to release this ship into the sea, like all others that left the ports of Greater Odessa during the Grain Export Initiative. But this bulker with wheat for the UN food program and other ships with agricultural products are forced to wait because Russia is blackmailing the world with hunger. Russia is the only one to blame for the fact that food will now become more expensive for people across a vast expanse from West Africa to East Asia. Agreements to unblock grain exports from Ukrainian ports through the the Black Sea and Turkish Straits were signed July 22nd in Istanbul by representatives of Ukraine, Russia, Turkey and the UN. The agreement was made for 120 days or until November 19th, with the possibility of extension.